we have some Ghostbusters news, and it's hilarious! Hello, everyone! I am... Becca Random 42 the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube harpy. We have some Ghostbusters news, and of course, I came to be in the fandom menace, but before there even was one, when I started watching this guy's Ghostbusters videos. Who are you? Why are you here? I'm, hi, I'm Rob Robot Shlomo, and I'm here because Mecha really just wants to ruin my day somehow. <laughs> Maybe, maybe you might get a kick out of it though. Do I? He doesn't know the news yet. He doesn't know no. yet, so we have to surprise him. This is why I wanted to record this. This is his live reaction. Mm. He doesn't. He doesn't know yet. He doesn't know. Well, here you go. I'm gonna link it to you on Discord. No am I? Am I starting to look like Troy McClure when he squints? You know, with all the wrinkles and probably. Go, uh, yeah. <laughs> Ghostbusters reboot director teases three hour cut in wake of oh for God's sake. <laughs> I'm not going to yell. I'm not going to scream. <laughs> I'm just going to say. You can if you want. <laughs> no. It'll be hilarious. <laughs> it, it, it will be hilarious. But uh, let me just take a look at this coffee here. <laughs> I, I think we broke him. I think we broke him. <laughs> Good to the last drop. I think we broke Rob. Ma <laughs> Maxwell House, if you want to send a sponsor my way, go right ahead. I mean. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. You you just you're glutton for punishment at this point. <laughs> comicbook.com, as we all know, comicbook.com is the propaganda arm of CBS. <gasps> oh, for God's sake! It's, it's in Paul Feig's tweet. He confirms it. He's like, yeah, there's a three-hour director's cut. It, we, no, it doesn't mean it's coming. It doesn't mean it's a thing yet, but it means that he's got a cut of it. That is three hours mm. of unfunny j jokes about wontons. I guess was uh, oh you he hasn't even seen Ghost. I'm outing him. He hasn't even seen Ghostbusters 2016. No, no, I d I don't hate myself enough to watch it. None of that. If it means if it means enough to everybody, I'll give it a look. But I mean, I'm not going to look forward to it. I think we should. I think we should make him watch it. I think we should make him watch Ghostbusters uh, 2016 because following, that's how I uh, came into the Phantom Menace. Following the announcement that Zack Snyder's Justice League would be coming to HBO Max in 2021, the internet started sharing jokes about various other unseen projects they'd like to see released. With the director's director of 2016's Ghostbusters, Paul Feig, weighing in on the matter by claiming that there's a three and a half, not three hours, three and a half hours. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. Cut of his film that he's waiting to release. Given that Feig is known for his many hilarious comedies and <laughs> that he can include the hashtag, the Feiger cut. <laughs> it's unclear how serious he is about the unreleased cups? version of the film. But with the film being such a sprawling adventure, we wouldn't doubt that a lot of scenes ended up on the cutting room floor. Yes, they were sitting in <laughs> clubs improving for nine hours straight for one scene, like in that in that mm -hmm. little bar area. And yeah, there he didn't have a script. He just said, "Here, this is kind of yeah. what you do. Go." Yeah, the Paul Feig, the, the Paul Feig and Judd Apatow are from the same school of filmmaking. Hire a bunch of your friends, have have a couple loose ideas. Tell them, you know, just let them improv and then roll cameras and hope you film something funny. <laughs> you you very seldom do. Uh, there's three and a half hour cut of Ghostbusters Answer to Call. I'd be happy to share the Feager cut. <laughs> Feig shared on Twitter. That sounds with dirty. For Feig's cut of just, about Feig's cuts, Just League. Uh, while Hollywood has regularly delivered audiences remakes of beloved films, few projects have sparked as much controversy in recent years as Feig's film. Ahead of the film's release, some fans considered the project to be the final straw in remakes. Due to the success of the original film, while other toxic fans... Oh, oh, oh no, no. Comicbook.com... No. We're not toxic began... fans. You're a toxic filmmaker with your entitled Hollywood attitudes that you are owed money just because you worked well, hard. 
began trolling the Endeavor due to its decision to deliver female heroes instead of male protagonists. Now, no, that it existed at all. That was the problem. The film itself earned 74 positive reviews, 74% positive reviews as calculated by aggregator site Rotten Tomatoes. How many of those were fake? A lot. Go, I mean, Gary does a great video about Batwomen. And about the fake reviews there. I mean, not oh, fake they, reviews. Well, I've done so many fake review videos for <laughs> Batwoman, She-Ra. Uh, well, not Batwoman, but uh, I mean, uh, She-Ra. Uh, yeah, I mean, Star there's, Wars. There's, yeah. there's plenty of evidence. Mecca Mecca's Doctor given Who. us plenty. You've given us plenty of evidence uh, about fake reviews. I mean, it's it's not to be trusted anymore. But uh, with it earning only $229 million worldwide on a reported budget of $144 million, its final success was far short of expectations. And those, they don't call it a failure. They call it a final success. Mm-hmm. Proper sequel, a proper sequel to the original live-action film's Ghostbusters Afterlight was slated to hit theaters this summer, only for the great toilet paper shortage of 2020 to see the project's release delayed, despite the franchise exploring a different avenue with this latest film. Feig previously revealed that he would still like to see his reboot characters embraced by the series in the future. I hope Feig confirmed with a slash film earlier this year in regards to his reboot series, Finding New Life. What's so great about it in the comic book world, they've done a lot of crossover ones where there's like an interdimensional rip and our team joins up with the original Ghostbusters. So the fact that it's already been laid out and made comic book canon Anything could happen, so who knows? I would love to see that team come back. We had so much fun making that movie, whatever the con- whatever controversy costs. The fact that so many kids love love that, that we won Nickelodeon Best Movie of the Year award that year makes me very happy. Yeah, You know what? From what we heard, they, they didn't have, you didn't have a lot of fun. A lot of people did not have fun on uh, making that movie, from what, we, from what we heard at Midnight's Edge. Stay tuned. They don't like you very much. <laughs> No. Stay tuned for details on Ghostbusters. Are you hoping we can get a director's cut of Ghostbusters? We yes. Know. Yes, I am. Us... To laugh at. To laugh at and riff. Let us know in the uh, let us know in the comments or contact Patrick Cavanaugh directly on Twitter. To I talk dare about you. All things horror and Star Wars. I dare you. I dare you. I dare you. you. Give Give us more content. Please. Give us more content. Give us more mail bashing. Give us more digs at the original Ghostbusters. Give us more stuff to make videos on. I dare you at this point. Please, please, please do this. This is like me saying, please cast Brie Larson as Ahsoka, Ahsoka, whatever, Tano, whatever. Please give us these Um, longer versions with more garbage to laugh at. As my um, ninth grade English teacher, uh, Mrs. LaPerry once said it is all just grist for your mill i mean it, that's all it is at this point you are providing us with content mm-hmm. to like tweeting and giving us something to make a video on comment analyze and mock mm-hmm. and comment on this video and share it yes please comment on this video thumbs up Give it a thumbs up. Share. <laughs> and subscribe. Share it like share it like an STD. <laughs> at a at a at a nineties frat party. Uh don't everybody don't don't That's do that. Reference. Just pop it in Facebooks to... and stuff and Twitters. Yeah, I, yeah, well, I never went to I never went to a frat party, so yeah, what do I know? I don't know. I was at concerts and stuff and I was backstage. Yeah. Well, I don't know. <sighs> well, so, I'm yeah. across the bear. Do you guys want a Paul Feig Ghostbusters? I mean, like a longer version. I kind of almost treat it as, like like I said, this is the start of the fandom menace in a lot of ways. This is kind of like the acorn this of is, the seed of the fandom yeah. menace. This and is this is patient zero. Yeah, yeah this one or, or fan four stick, whichever you prefer. But I came in during Ghostbusters for sure when I was watching stuff like the Angry Video Game Nerd and him getting basically chastised and berated for not wanting to even review this movie. I was there watching all of the behind the scenes drama. I saw just how badly they were marketing this film as, oh, you just don't like women. It's like, no, no, no. I just don't Mm. like these unfunny Saturday Night Live improv actresses because I'm not that big a fan of unfunny improv. I'm not that big a fan of funny improv most of the time. You have to be really, really effing good for me to laugh. Mm-hmm. This is where it all started, and, and ever since then, then they've had this attitude and this entitlement that they're entitled to our money, 
And they can call us every name in the book, like toxic fans, again, like comicbook.com. Mm-hmm. It's garbage. It's BS. So. I know. Uh, any, any final words on it? <laughs> I've ranted long enough. I dare you. <laughs> That's all. I dare you. I, I dare you. It'll be hilarious. It'll be hilarious. I am Mecha Random 42. And I am exasperated. <laughs> We'll see you guys later. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.